Hey, this is Mrs. Sharp, and I thought I would go over some Hess's Law problems with you, maybe one or two on this Chem 120 worksheet if you're having trouble with it. So um, I thought we'd start with number four because I wasn't sure if you would be there yet or not. So I've got number four right here, and it says to calculate delta H for this reaction. Um, double check in to make sure it is balanced. Uh, one, four, seven, six, seven H's, one C, one C. 1n, 1n. So it looks like it's balanced. Good deal. Okay. I've got these three equations right here. Let's get to work. Let's start with, I'll start from left to right because that seems to be easier. So I'll start with my CH4. It needs to be on the reactant side. So let me see. CH4. Here he is. He is on the product side. So what I am going to do is I am going to turn this equation around so that CH4 is on the reactant side. So CH4 is reacting here. That means that this delta H is sine is reversed since the equation is reversed. Okay, next one, NH3. I'll go ahead and do that in green. NH3 is a reactant here, so we would also want it to be a reactant. I see it right here. It is not a reactant. It is a product. So same thing. I'm going to turn around the sign. I'm, excuse me. I'm going to turn around the arrow so that NH3 is a reactant, and I'm going to change the sign of that delta H. HCN is next. HCN is a product. I find HCN down here is a product, so that's all set. Great. So I can keep it written as is, and I can keep my delta H sign positive. And my last one is H2. Let's see what I got here. Well, here's the thing about H2. Over here it's a product. Over here it's a product. Over here it's a reactant. So since I have fixed everything else, I want to leave those alone because they can only be fixed in each one of their respective equations, okay? So HCN can only be fixed in this bottom equation. CH4 can only be fixed here and NH3 can only be fixed here. So I'm going to leave the H2s alone and just hope that those work out. So now that I have those written down, I'm going to go ahead to the second step, which is to make sure all the moles work out correctly. So if you look up here, it looks like I have one mole of CH4, and down here I have one mole of CH4, so those are perfect just the way they are. Next, for NH3, I have one mole of NH3, and down here I have two. So what do I need to do to this equation? I need to divide everything in half. So that needs to become one, that needs to become three halves, that needs to become one half, and then I also need to divide that 91.8 by two. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now just to make my life a little bit easier. 91.8 divided by 2, I get 45.9. And that's still positive because I didn't change the direction of the equation. I just changed the fact that I'm reacting half as much. Since there's one here, I had to make that one. All right, and then HCN, it looks like it's going to be the same thing for HCN. I've got one here, and I've got two here. So I'm going to make that a one, make this a one half. Make this a 1 and make this a 1 half, which means my positive 270.3 becomes 135.15. Okay, so the very next thing I want to do is I want to take all of my reactants and all of my products and I want to write them out with the coefficients that I have here and try to make sure that my final equation does in fact end up exactly like this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now the problem with this worksheet being that I don't have a lot of space here. Um, so let me see real quick if I can get some of this out of there. No, nope, that's not really doing it. Uh, let's see if I can get some paint on there. Not really. Okay, well here's what I'll do, okay? I will go ahead and write all of these down here. Um, and I'll just kind of squeeze it and we're going to pretend like this isn't here. And I'll write all my reactants and products under this line. Okay, so remember, the way that we wrote these, I have this is a reactant, these are reactants, and then these are reactants. So I'm going to go ahead and write all of those. I've got one NH3. As a gas. I've got one CH4 as a gas, and I'm going to cross these off as I go. 
and then I've got a half of an H2 gas. I've got a carbon solid, and I've got half of an N2. Let me get rid of those. Get rid of those. Okay. Then on all my product side, so these are products, I've got half of an N2 gas. I've got three halves of an H2 gas. I've got one C solid and two H2 gas and then an HCN. gas. Okay, and that should be everything. Okay, so when I'm looking at all these, now I can go through and anything that appears on both sides I can go ahead and get rid of. NH3 over here is all by itself, so that's good. CH4 all by itself. Now half of an H2, I have half of an H2 over here, and if I look over here, I've got, wow, I've got lots of H2s. It looks like I've got seven halves of an H2. Okay, so I've got half over here. I'm going to come up here. I've got half on this side going to seven halves on this side. So overall, let's see, that one half is going to go away completely, and this is going to take it down by one half. So this is going to be just, we'll turn that into a three halves. Right? Because, okay, I got seven halves from the one half, or I'm sorry, the three halves plus the two is like four halves, so that made seven halves. I crossed off this one half, which made this go down by one, so I have six halves, and that's really three. Okay, so that half H2 can go away. I've got a carbon on this side, a carbon on this side, so that's a one for one, those can go away. And I've got half of an N2 over here, and half of an N2 over here. So look at what I have left, NH3, 1 CH4, which is exactly what I have here, NH3, CH4, HCN, and 3 H2, so I have exactly what I want. Well, now what? Well, that means that all of these equations we represented properly, and so just like we combined all of these, we added them all up, now we can add up all of our delta H's too. So I'm literally going to take 45.9 plus 74.9 plus 135.15. And there's no negatives there, so it's all positive, which is nice. So if I add all those up together, 74.9 and 45.9 and 135.15, I get 255.95. Kilojoules, which should be our final answer. So just literally adding these all up now that I verified that my equation was correct. So let's go down and look at the answer there. And it looks like for 4, 255.95 or 256, and it's positive. You can see that they multiplied each of these by half, just like we did. Um, and left this one, um, turn these two, because they're italicized, those two were written oppositely. So I hope that helps. Go through at least one, and if you need more, let me know. Give me a holler, and I will try to do my best to help you. Bye.